Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing. Today we are going to talk about the J separator class, which you can use to actually create dividing lines in your GUI application. So it's used to separate components, GUI components on a frame. It can even be uh, separating menu items, for example. So in this video, I will talk about this particular class, how to create a separator or a divider line. And uh, we will take some examples just to see how this particular class works. All right. So as usual, this is how my project is structured. I have a main class containing the main method. And in this method, I'm creating a frame instance and my frame is extending or inheriting from the J frame. And here I have find the various attributes of my frame. All right, so we are good to go. Before I create a J separator, I'm going to create uh, some menu. So let me create that go globally. I'll say J menu, I'll call it menu. The second menu I'll say menu um what if i say sub menu because i'm going to use this as a sub menu now here let me import before i need a menu bar so i'll say j menu bar menu bar then semicolon import the j menu bar class and next we need menu j menu item so this will be item one item two and semicolon all right, so now in the constructor, we will instantiate the menu bar first. So J menu bar, and this particular menu bar, we will set it to our frame. So this that set J menu bar, we we'll pass in menu bar. So this is set, let me run. So the menu bar has been added. All right, so let's instantiate our different menus. So the first one is menu, I'll say equal new J menu. I'll call it file. So we can say menu underscore two, new J menu, we can call it edit. Yeah, so this, I may change this to menu underscore two. We can instantiate our J menu items. So item underscore item one, that was it. New J menu item, a new file, item two, new J menu item i can set the text here to open file all right so now what we're going to do is we will first of all add the menus to our menu bar so menu bar that add menu i'll add another line and here and i'll say menu underscore two so these are the menus that we have added to our menu bar me run now you can see file and edit okay so we need to add some menu item to either our menu here or menu underscore two you know what we're gonna do we'll add some more items here so we say item three item four item five so here copy this paste it now change this to item three or and five then we'll say copy cut paste then so these are j menu items we need to add them to both our menus and we already know how to do that so we will say for the menu we will say menu that add item one we will also add item two to our menu copy and paste then here will be item two so for menu underscore two we will add item two item three we'll copy that paste it here item four will be added to menu underscore two as well and item five now let's run so this is what will happen so now you can see our menu so what we want to do is we want to create a separator between these menu items as you can see here we want to bring a line a divider line between a new file menu item and an open file and here as well copy cut and paste how do you add a separator so to add a separator we actually use a method called add separator okay and we need to add a separator in between these two lines of code here so this is the line of code where we added the first item to the menu and this is the line of code where we added the second item to the menu so we need to in add the separator in between them so we will simply say menu that add separator 
that's it now let me run now you can see there's a separator between new file and open file yeah so that's basically what we need to add so for the menu underscore two we will add a separator so menu underscore two that add separator uh, we've added one separator let's see what will happen when you click on edit here so there's only one separator between copy and cut because that we've added it here let's add the very same line of code here down here as well let's run so now you will see separator between copy cut and paste as well so this is how you add a separator in your menu items as I told you, so that was an example for adding a separator. So now we can also add a separator between two GUI components, like uh, let's say two labels, for example, placed on our frame. All right, so let's take an example to so that I will show you how to do that. The first thing we need to do is because we want to add two um, GUI components to our frame, I would uh, choose to use uh, the grid layout. So I'll set my layout manager for the frame to grid layout. And uh, I'll say I don't need a column. I and I want uh, one row. I think that's okay. So now let's come here. We will say J label, label one equal new J label. Then we'll call it above the separator line. So this label is going to be above the separator line. Then I need another label. So this will be called below the separator line. And uh, we we'll say label two. Okay, so that's it. We can add a separator instance. You see, for the J menu items, we use the add separator method. But when it comes to the um, GUI components on the frame, we need to use the J separator class. So we're going to create an instance of a separator. Um, so we say J separator separator new j separator that's an instance of a separator class let's import the separator now we are having our separator all right so let's add this label to our frame so i'll come here this that add label one this that add label two all right let me run and see how this is going to be looking like so now we have above the separator line below the separator line so there's no separator here so what can you do to add a separator since we are having our separator instance declared here and instantiated all we're going to do is to say that we want to add that particular instance in the frame and we want to add it between label one and label two. So we will come in between these two lines of code here and say this that add separator. So this is an instance of a separator class and it's gonna create a separator. Yeah, so now you can see we are having a separator. So the separator line has been added to our frame between label one and label two. If I decrease the height of the frame, now you can see how this is looking. So guys, that was it about the separator, how to add a separator or a divider line between uh, menu items, uh, how to add it between uh, GUI components on your frame by using the J separator class or the add separator for the menu item. And uh, I hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like, to share, comment and uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Let's meet in the next one.